In the last video, we did a couple of lattice multiplication problems, and you saw it was pretty straightforward. You got to do all your multiplication first, and then do all of your addition. But let's try to understand why exactly it worked. It almost seemed like magic. And to see why it worked, I'm going to redo this problem up here, and then I'll also try to explain what we did in the longer problem. So when we multiplied 27, so you write your 2 and your 7, just like that, times 48, I'm just doing exactly what we did in the previous video. We drew a lattice. We gave the 2 a column and the 7 a column, just like that. We gave the 4 a row and we gave the 8 a row. And then we drew our diagonals. And the key here is the diagonals, as you can imagine. Otherwise, we wouldn't be drawing them. So you have your diagonals. Now, the way to think about it is each of these diagonals are a number place. So for example, this diagonal right here. That is the ones place. That is the ones place. The next diagonal, I'll do it in this light green color. The next diagonal right here in the light green color, that is the tens place. Now the next diagonal to the left or above that, depending on how you want to view it, I'll do it in this little pink color right here. You could guess that's going to be the hundreds place. And then finally, we have this little diagonal there, and I'll do it in this light blue color. That is the thousands place, is the thousands place. So whenever we multiply one digit times another digit, we just make sure we put it in the right bucket or in the right place. And you'll see what I mean in a second. So we did 7 times 4. Well, we know what 7 times 4 is 28. We just simply wrote a 2 and an 8, just like that. But what did we really do? And I guess the best way to think about it, this 7, this is the 7 and 27. So it's just a regular 7, right? It's just a regular 7. But this 4, it's the 4 and 48. So it's not just a regular 4. It's really a 40, right? 48 can be rewritten as 40 plus 8. This 4 right here actually represents a 40. So right here, we're not really multiplying 7 times 4. We're actually multiplying 7 times 40. And 7 times 40 isn't just 28, it's 280. And 280, how can we think about that? We could say that's 200s, two hundreds plus 8 tens. And that's exactly what we wrote right here. Notice, this column, or sorry, this diagonal, this diagonal right here, I already told you, it was the tens diagonal. And we multiplied 7 times 40. We put the 8 right here in the tens diagonal. So that means 8 tens. 7 times 40 is 2 hundreds. We wrote a 2 in the hundreds diagonal and 8 tens. That's what this 2 8 here is. We actually wrote 280. Let's keep going. When I multiply 2 times 4, you might say, oh, 2 times 4, that's 8. But what am I really doing? This is the 2 and 27. This is really a 20. And this is really a 40. So 20 times 40, 20 times 40 is equal to this 8 with two zeros is equal to 800. And what did we do? We multiplied 2 times 4, and we said, oh, 2 times 4 is 8. We wrote a 0 and an 8, just like that. But notice where we wrote the 8. We wrote the 8 in the hundreds, in the hundreds diagonal. Make this a different color. We wrote it in the hundreds diagonal. So we literally wrote, even though it looked like we multiplied 2 times 4 and saying it's 8, the way we accounted for it, we really did 20 times 40 is equal to 8 hundreds. Remember, this is the hundreds diagonal, this whole thing right there. Now we can keep going. When you multiply 7 times 8, remember, this is really 7. Well, th this is the 7 in 27, so it's just a regular 7. This is the 8 in 48, so it's just a regular 8. 7 times 8 is 56. You write a 6 in the ones place. 56 is just 5 tens and 1 6. So it's 5 tens in the tens diagonal and 1 6, 56. And then when you multiply 2 times 8, notice that's not really just 2 times 8. I mean, we did write it's just 16 when we did the problem over here. But we're actually multiplying 20. This is a 20 times 8. 20 times 8 is equal to 160. Or you could say it's 100, notice the 1 in the hundreds diagonal, 
and six tens. That's what 160 is. So what we did by doing this lattice multiplication is we accounted all of the digits, the right digits, in the right places. We put the six in the ones place. We put the six, the five, and the eight in the tens place. We put the one, the eight, and the two in the hundreds place. And we put nothing right now in the thousands place. Then, now that we're done with all the multiplication, we can actually do our adding up. And then you just keep adding. And if there's something that goes over to the next place, you just carry that number. So six in the ones place, well, that's just a six. Then you go to the tens place. 8 plus 5 plus 6 is what? 8 plus 5 is 13, plus 6 is 19. But notice, we're in the tens place. It's 19 tens. Or we could say it's 9 tens and 100. And we carry the 1 up here, if you can see it, into the hundreds place. Then we have, now we add up all the hundreds. This is 100 plus 200 plus 800 plus 100. Or, what is this? 1,200. So you write, 2 in the hundreds place. 1,200 is the same thing as 2 hundreds plus 1,000. And now you only have 1,000 in your thousands diagonal. And so you write that 1 right there. And that's exactly how we did it. And the, the, the same reasoning applies to the more complex problem. We can label our places. This was the ones place right there. That was the ones. And it made sense. When we multiplied the 9 times the 7, those are just literally 9s and 7s, it's 63. Six tens and three ones. This right here is the tens diagonal. Then we got six tens and three ones. When we multiplied nine times eighty, remember seven hundred eighty seven, that's the same thing as seven hundreds plus eight tens plus seven just regular seven ones. So this nine times eight is really nine times eighty. Nine times eighty is seven hundred and twenty. Seven hundreds, this is the hundreds place. Seven hundreds and twenty. Two tens. Two tens. Just right there. And you can keep going. This up here, this is the thousands place. This is the ten thousands. I'll write it like that. This is the hundred thousands place. Hundred thousands. And then this was the millions place. This was the millions place. So we did all of our multiplication at once, accounted for things in their proper place based on what those numbers really are. This caught this entry right here. You, we, looks like we just multiplied 4 times 8 and got 32. But we actually were multiplying 400. This is a 400 times 80. And 400, 400 times 80 is equal to 3, 2, and 3 zeros is equal to 32,000. And the way you, we counted for it, notice we put a 2 right there. And what diagonal is that? That is the thousands diagonal. So we say it's two thousand and three ten thousands. So three ten thousands and two thousands, that's thirty two thousand. So hopefully that gives you an understanding. I mean, it's nice to it's fun to maybe do some lattice multiplication and get practice, but you know, sometimes it looks like this bizarre magical thing. But hopefully from this video you understand that all it is is just a different way of keeping track of where the ones, tens, and hundreds place are, with the advantage that it's kind of nice and compartmentalized, doesn't take up a lot of space. And it allows you to do all your multiplication at once and then switch your, your brain into addition and carrying mode.